I guess the question around Sergio is is less about well, certainly not about his quality as a player because that's unquestioned. But was it simply that quality that made him the obvious and only candidate to lead Italy? And what additional challenges does that bring when you're leading the country who is fighting an uphill battle in this championship? Oh, it's it's incredible. I mean, it's a fairly easy decision for anyone who knows him, and and Rog will know him from his uh, from all the years in France and and, and hear the stories both from Stade Francais and now at Toulon. But and it's too trite and easy to say, you know, first on the pitch, last off the pitch. I'm sure he grew through the years. I got him uh, and was with him for maybe the last few years. Uh, the, his twilight career when the the physical prowess, but his. his technical ability was still second to none but his ability to lead uh to retain energy it's easy when you're winning but to retain energy over a period i read a stat once it was one of the most frustrating things i've ever seen and you get frustrated by the media the odd time don't you that he was the first player to get 100 test defeats and just even positioning someone like that i think if you put him on a team of world greats in his position he'd be right up there as one of the greatest number eights to ever play the game um, he's uh, respected by everyone within the game, and uh, and, and as a as just a talent, uh, he'd lead by words, but he'd also lead by example. I think one of the issues, and maybe Rog can kind of align it with, although he got some success at the end of his career, Keith Wood. You know, uh, a period of time in, in Keith where he wasn't part of a successful Irish team, but he was the focal point, and in many ways he led and gave an example of what Irish rugby could be. And then the likes of Rog came in with Brian O'Driscoll and Paul O'Connell. But Keith was a, at the real forefront of leading Irish rugby out of that. And that's what we sat down with Sergio. You know, said to Sergio, we'll maybe not get the success that you want. We'll hopefully win the odd game and have some great days. But ultimately, we're setting a platform for 10 years. And, and you can see there's a lot of good young talent in Italy now. Still a lot of hard yards to do and, and hard days to come. But... Sergio will have no doubt lit the way for so many people, and uh, he's a pretty special person. I just find that so interesting what Connor is saying because um, it, you know, what I mean, in, in how we measure leaders, it, 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 we all look upon it so different. But like one of the key attributes of great leaders is resilience. So st straight away, uh, Paris is on a league of his own because. Um, I think you need to pause and uh, digest what Connor has said over a hundred test losses for his for his country. The easy thing for that is to retire after fifty of them. But you know, what I mean, the real champions, the real leaders, are the guys who got knocked and they continuously get back up. And for for you know, what I mean, the amount of courage involved in that, resilience, innovation, sacrifice, patience. It's it's a it's a fascinating story. But like it's. Um, if you have that mentality where, um, I mean, where the small wins are important, and for Italy, obviously, it's not on a level playing field because if you're looking at judging on outcomes, it's a, it's a ridiculous criteria. So I think um, I, I, I heard that actually uh, for someone to print that or write about Parisa, just beggar's belief about why would you put that out there for to, to, to knock someone in the fact that uh, to kind of have a go off and it's it, 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 it's it's uh, beyond belief really you put that out someone and your point the the ability to dust yourself down to come back with the same enthusiasm the same mentality to want to win because you know the player the player wants to win every single game there's the disappointment but then by the monday there's that absolute focus on being able to win and that's to be celebrated that's not to be denigrated. That's a person like that should be celebrated. And you can look at the the highlights reel, the special moments that Sergio has had through a career. But actually, I'd measure him on exactly what you talked about there. Never ever once in a in an era where he could have, you know, packed packed up his chips, earned a good bit of money with a beautiful wife, children in France. He just kept on. No, I want to win for Italy. And that's very special. Do uh, get involved in the comments section below and join the debate. Rate, review and subscribe. Uh, and we hope to uh, hear from you soon. See you again soon here on Rugby's Greatest Podcast.